Hello everyone, welcome to Ridger Junkie 91 Plays Roof, where we're hoping everything will work out and we're also joined by a cat sitting in the lap of my wife. Hello. So, she's never seen Roof and we're going to show it to her. We're going to start off, we got either the accomplishments we could get. So basically this, this says Legendary Warriors, finish an era with a village which has at least six war markers. So that's the type of achievement you get, and the achievements will be used to unlock more stuff, more resources. Here they are, the buddies. We got Ocean Dude, so we can move him. He's going to create an ocean. We got the forest, we can move him, ready to start that. We got the mountain giant and the swamp giant. Let's take a look at ocean creation. Flashes down, and you can see that this barren Mordor like land is now a bit wet. So, you can come in here and raise the forest, and you can see the water droplet icon, which means we will be getting good sources of uh, resources. And you can build all sorts of resources. And the fun thing about this, it's really about the interplay of environments and resources. So right now we have a nomad who is looking for a place to call home. We're going to start putting some resources down, such as domestic animals. And you can like put a kitty. You can. I don't think they're domesticated. You can put domestic animals down in the water, and it'll create fish. You can put domestic animals down on the land, and it'll, they'll be land-based critters. Like a domestic See, we have our first village, the village of bluestone. And they are going to be getting, their borders are right here, they're going to be getting food from this guy. And we'll need lesser predator aspect or lesser exotic aspect to improve him, which we don't have right now, but that's alright. What we're going to do is create a fruit plant, and they're going to start a project. They're starting a granary, so we have to meet these resource requirements for it to be successful. They need 30 food for that to happen, and they can get up to, they can store up to 24 food, so they can't ever succeed as we are right now. And they'll give a boost to plant collecting. I put this, uh, plant here because this patch produces more. Alright, if we can get a sawbear dandelion, we will produce more food. So, how do you get dandelions, you ask? We go here and get this guy. He does different things. Because he does uh, herbs and special animals. He just sprinkles a bit of stuff on here. We get dandelions, they produce tech, but also that increases the production of food. So now we have 11 out of 34. Food, 12 out of 34. That will continue to go up. We're going to add some animals here and see if we can get something. That might be too close. It's too close, so we gotta let that, uh, we gotta let the ability recharge. While we're waiting on that, let's go build a swamp with our swamp loop. Then go over here and raise a mountain. You can see that will drastically affect the planet. You can already see we put our ocean down. Ooh, the mountain might be creating too much of a problem. So we're going to have you go over here and get ready to do the swamp. And we're going to check back in here and make some more fish. And so you can see that this guy, th this school of fish produces two food for in a certain range. So you can see here it's two and the, the two are overlapping. So that's four. So now we have 61 food ready for these people and three tech which is a different resource but that's more than enough to get our green new challenge completed so after that we'll have an ambassador that wants to join us so let's do a swamp real quick and it will be the other side of the ocean and we each get different each of the guardians get a different bonus from each uh, ambassador because it's a this is a forest ambassador, so 
we could get the crystal aspect or what we probably want the fruit aspect pick him up and he'll just ride on him right there so what what's the point of him being on top of on the tree tree man uh we have the fruit aspect now and that lets us uh enhance this blueberry bush here so you'll see now we have the option to upgrade it to an apple tree and apple trees have their own bonuses you can see that it already increased the food a plus food and nature for each animal nest next to it so we might want to think about replacing this dandelion but let's make this into a pear tree even more food plus 10 food and plus 5 all for each plant next to this pear tree. So what we want to do is get rid of this dandelion because remember that was just to help the blueberry. Get their own blueberry again and you can see that goes up. And we'll do the same thing. Now you can see we can't do the pear tree just yet because um, if you look at this, this is the lesser food aspect. This is a greater food aspect. That's just a uh, dice roll. So a lot of times I have to be doing a lot of stuff. Doing the same resources over and over again. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Let's raise a mountain. Like right here. And we want to put in some advanced minerals maybe let's create a wealthy animal nest right here in the swamp we get poison dart frogs plus two wealth and range next to an elderberry what's an elderberry? I believe it might be not be herb actually we have a new village they need technology to Blue wood. Okay. Now we got blue wood. Blue and stone. blue stone. Okay. We so we could focus on maybe replanting that and applying another aspect to try and get the pear tree. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna send him over here and create some elderberries, hopefully. We're gonna see what we can create. And we are got a project going. It's a tool shop. They need 15 wealth, 15 technology. So, there's our mountain. Get him over here. Elderberry. So that's plus wealth for the tree frogs. And if we want to double up on the bonuses, hmm, we could turn this into tomato. The pineapple. I'll be back. All right. We're going to plant another fruit plant. And we're going to give it some food aspect. That will increase the food that you draw from it and allow us to transform it into a pineapple. Now, do we want pineapple? Um, 14 food effects to a mineral deposit, which minerals are a good idea. So we're going to move all this over. Another fruit plant to get elderberries and poison dart frogs. Increase the wealth. Now we could turn this into a papaya. Alright. And that creates awe. So we're going to do it. See what we get. 15 food and 5 awe. If that, at least 8 nature. I'm not sure we want that. So, we're going to put down a tech thing. A tech, um, a mineral deposit. And put plants here. We're going to have to be planting a lot of plants to redo all this. We put some more elderberries and poison dart frogs in. Let's 
Then we add the fruit aspect. And we turn into a pineapple. And all that mixes together. Let's check the salt. So what turned into a pineapple? The elderberry that we originally planted next to these dart frogs. Hmm. Which now we can think about if we want to increase that. Do we have any projects going on? Granary? No. Okay. Oh, and if you, they just increased their borders. So we're going to put down some domesticated animals here. And we're going to put down an exotic animal right on the water. That will create an exotic fish instead of the poison dart frog. That creates clownfish, plus two wealth next to another clownfish or parrotfish. So and we got tree burrow settled. So tell me, what is the overall goal of this game? To make your civilizations thrive. How many civilizations? We got three right now. The school challenge has been started. Let's do an ocean right now. Does the core of the earth ever change? Nope. School challenge. We need technology and food. Hmm. We got some food from those chickens. Which we could upgrade them. We don't have that right now. The plantation challenge. Alright. So question, how did we get humans on here? Um, there were nomads running around and once they found resources, then they settled a city. So we're going to move over here, we're going to replant these in hopes that we can get a better aspect. We're going to check the progress on this. We need more technology, which luckily the forest guardian doesn't excel at. Alright, we're going to add another mineral, we're going to add precious mineral. And that will cause symbiosis with this guy. Just watch. Goes up from 10. No. Hmm. Let's try again. Let's do more salt. We're gonna go up this time. Maybe not. We still got the pineapples and papayas. And we're gonna add an exotic animal here. Which their symbiosis should create a lot of wealth. 27 wealth. But we need 15 tech. Where is our technology? They are not. Okay, so. We gotta do more tech because they're actually outside the borders. Goodbye, pineapples. And you can see that will change everything. We have 20. So if you change the resources, then they'll eventually have, this number will be bigger than this number, so they'll be in want of more resources, which can increase their greed. Fruit aspect. Alright. More fruit plants. And we can add food aspects to these guys to increase their food. 25. Okay, so when the number is below the resource. resources, that means they're, they have more than they, they need. No, this, the numbers are how much of the resource is being provided to the village. No, but like the 94 out of uh, 131 or 132, what does that mean? That means we currently have 96, this village currently has 96 food, and it can collect up to 132 food. Oh. But it can't so collect more than cap It's capacity. capacity. Yes. Right. And we're going to play the try of a game, and try... and get another pear tree. We need the greatest seismic, that's the greatest seismic. That's 143 food. A swamp ambassador has appeared to be completed the tool shop challenge. We need to expand our borders, but we can't. So 
so this challenge will never be completed. Unless we destroy the city, which we can do. So, do you have something all over your planet? We have stuff all over it by now, yeah. Alright, so, he can't grab the Swamp Ambassador because he already has an ambassador. Mm -hmm. So, the Forest Giant could get Herd Aspect, which is really useful. The Mountain Herd Giant aspect? could get Seismic Aspect. And Swamp Giant could get the Toxic Aspect. We're going to use the Ocean Giant to get the Herd Aspect, which is really useful. Okay, like, I'm really confused about this game. That's alright, that's alright. Can we put a fruit plant here? We don't need these fish for food anymore. I don't think that counts as a plant. So... So you also like started out with a, a 60 minute time. Yes, that's right here. So what happens at the end of 60 minutes? Uh, that's the end of the session, and the giants go to sleep. Hmm. It's like, then the next thing you do is like create a whole new game? Yeah, you get to start a new session. Alright. And the new session like, has a empty You start over. Plant. Yes, yes. Now we're gonna be mean, and trample this city or village into the ground. Because we want this city to expand. Their borders, so we can have, we only have three plants within their borders right now. We need four. And we have four minutes and 30 seconds to do that. Their tool shop is going well. We get a lot of wealth and technology. You can see they expanded their borders. Let's put a domestic animal in the swamp. And let's see what happens here. Like an alligator. Maybe. Yeah, what is the domestic animal? And what creature gets to put the animal there? You mean, uh, yeah, tree birds, or you mean which guardian? Yeah. We'll see right now. Domestic animals on the swamp will be frogs right now. And the ocean. The ocean giant can create the domestic animals. Can all of them create domestic animals? Nope. Froststone was settled. Each giant has its own skills. So... So everyone has to work together. So which ones don't create domestic animals? Um, each, each one's abilities is unique to themselves. So only the... Only the ocean giant can create domestic animals. Oh. Stop That's it. Ah. Oh. Okay. Marvel wood. Sorry. It's not Marvel, baby. Unless we could raise a mountain. That might change everything, though. But. That'll be good to look at. We're going to see how adding a mountain to the ocean... Actually, now that I think about it, raising the land will just raise this up a bit because it's already sunk it down. Now, if you put a mountain in an ocean, Things are you gonna get happen. a volcano? Um, I don't believe so, not yet. But you can create volcanoes in this game. Maybe, I don't know. Like if you dig down to the core? There's, there's stuff you need to unlock. Um, getting these achievements will unlock more resources. So that might be in the future. But let's see what happens. This is going to change the environment a whole lot. Oh, I was like, are you going to flood the people? Nope. Nature's looking great, but there are not many f further develop developed natural sources. Remember, we need to transmute. It's reminding us. So we ruined everything, if you can see. It's now a desert. Yeah. So, we're going to try and make an ocean fix again? this. Yes. But it's going to cost this village. They're going to have to get drunk up like Atlantis. And you can see all our mines changed because they're now in the desert. 
Is there a scoring for this game? Yes, you get, um, we're trying to increase the overall happiness. Bye. Bad things that happen in that village. Not happy. You gotta use symbiosis. Alright. That place is gone. But hey, this place is looking better now. Although they might not have what they need. Okay. Oh, right. So, remember how we made everything a desert? <laughs> now all the trees disappeared. Oh, so. Oh. Tree guy again to do his work. Yep. So, tree guy can put down plants. Right? Yep. And so what? I saw like dandelions, blueberries. Dandelions are herbs. Blueberries are food. Okay. They're fruit plant. And we got cool down so. We won't get this done in 30 seconds, so we destroyed everything for nothing. Mm. But it's a learning process. Yeah, like I'm still trying to learn what this game is about. It's about having a good ecosystem. We are going to recreate you guys' village. The, no, the plantation challenge has failed, but they might start it up again, so we need to be ready for that to happen, which we will be. Add some growth aspect to it. And actually, let's try and mix it up a bit, because this is still a plant, even though it's not a food producing plant. Is that a pear tree now? It's a pear tree now. Well, and then, there's a new city on top of this one. What have they got? They got 12 food. Or 12 gold and 8 wealth. And well, they have the capacity for 12 gold. Right? Yes. Oh, and they're doing a trade post. Let's see. They need 30 wealth. The shrine challenge has started. They need wealth and food. We dried up the oceans, remember? So let's do some exotic animals again in the ocean. Exotic, not domestic. Not domestic. That's different. And Bluestone is attacking Marvel Wood. Marblewood, a different village? Yes, they're the ones right next to these guys. Remember how um, we took all their food away? Now they're greedy, so they're gonna go attack someone. Ooh. And we can and you zoom said in. One of the goal is to have like a peaceful village, like peaceful world. Uh, no. If we finish an era with a village with at least six war markers, we'll get an achievement. What's a war marker? Uh, they had a war. And you can see these guys have like nothing, so... So we're trying to incite violence? Well, that was my intention, but that's one of the goals, yep. Mm -hmm. And you, if you have complaints about that, that's the human condition. Sometimes they're not happy unless they've... ...done violence. And we will quickly, we might quickly be seeing how that... ...turns out against us. Did it's they like, win? Oh man. Five, yep. Okay. So you can see they're pretty greedy. They didn't win. I don't think they got a war mark for that. The city's, this city is still alive. So. Let's create an exotic animal. And we see it's going to be a pair. Maybe. Let's see what we get. It's a stoat. It's a stoat. Fox. 
beaver. This is still really and they've cool. started the mill challenge. They need a hundred food, which we got, and forty tech. Wow. Okay. What? Sorry, it was no for the cat jumping up on my knitting All right. project. All right. So, is a stoat a real animal? Yeah. This is all real animals. I've never heard of a stoat. Not saying Advanced exist. minerals. We're going to put some more minerals here. We want to get their tech up. Maybe you get to complete the mill project. It's symbiosis plus 10 tech next to a plant. Hmm. So what is symbiosis? It means two resources working together, like in nature. Mm. So let's do another tech plant here that will increase our technology resource. Not it's now at 18. Well, it's like those uh, fish that latch onto whales and eat the, the barnacles. Yeah. Okay. It's symbiosis because the whales benefit from getting cleaned. Right. And the fish get food. Forest giant is under attack. Okay, so these guys are greedy now. A giant can be under attack? Yes, that's how greedy they are. Like me. What? Like, these giants created their world and they're attacking. I know, I know. That seems similar to real life. It is. It's an excellent opportunity to talk about how greedy we can get. We could attack them, but we won't. We can see... If we can give them enough resources to be happy. Don't worry. Oh, can the giants turn on the people? Yes. Maybe if they complete this, they need 16 out of 40. Okay, let's... Mm. It's like not even... Now much. they're... Chasing. The people are chasing the giants? I don't know. They're... Let's look. You stay there. Don't get near those people. Are they gonna... Can they cross you? Oh! They're building a boat. Yeah. Okay. Do, does it take resources for them to make a boat? I don't think so. I'm going to throw a bit of slime at them to see if that stops them. People, stop hating your creator. No. Nope. Okay. Is there only one guy in there now? Let's see. Maybe. No, they're attacking. They don't like the forest giant. Okay, you get out of here. Ah, trade person, that yeah, works. We've been distracted by being attacked. Let's give them another mine. No, no, not there, not there. Here. No, now they're going after the slime giant. That's not really doing a lot. Oh, they're starting to die. No. Sorry, okay, so. What do you think? Should we smite these people for being so belligerent, or should we try and help them some more? Let's be patient with them. Be patient, alright. School challenge failed. Be patient with them, you say. Alright. Don't you come over here. Alright, and we still need to give them some more tech. Maybe we can try and get these people to be happy. No, not the slime giant. Alright, what are we going to do? I don't know. Might have to smite the village. Yep. Go take your greed out on... The other guys. 
All right, we're gonna give you, we're giving you guys more right now. I took away their gold though. All right. Okay. Is that good? No, it's not good. He's being attacked still. You get out of here. We gave them. We're giving you stuff. Okay, but we're at the halfway point, so we're going to call it quits for now. We'll see you guys in the next video and see what happens. Just add these fishes, see you got some food, you got some gold, you got everything you could ever want. But that'll be it for today, folks. If you like what you see, then please subscribe to my channel for more content. The next part, this, the next video will be coming out tomorrow, I promise. Don't forget to also hit the like button on this video and leave any comments you have down in the comment section below. Most importantly, if you like this video and you, you want to see more, you want to see my channel grow, please share this video with your friends and your family and anyone else you think would like to see these types of videos. That would help me out the most. I would appreciate that the most. That'll be it for today, folks. Goodbye. Bye.